here is my only slide. Um, so who of you has attached anything to their PC or laptop or whatever? Yes, we all have used USB sticks, right? So I'm not talking about attaching something to a USB, but it's going to be a CPU. It's not going to be a USB stick or like uh, no GPUs or whatever people attach. Now we're going to use a CPU. How do we know something about our in, uh, our CPU? So on Linux we can do this here, right? We look at proxy view info. We get information on our CPU. So we could now just write a little program which does exactly that, right? Opens that file and tells you, hey, it's like, I don't know, some Intel or whatever CPU. Um, so I did that. I wrote a little program in a sensible program lang uh, language. Uh, I just call it hello OS, whatever. Um, so I'm going to run it now on a CPU that is attached to my USB drive, uh, well, to my USB uh, bus, whatever, uh, which I have right here. And there you see the output. So this is now a RISC V system based on a T-head core, whatever, and you also get some other information. Um, anyway, so now this is funny, um, and now you might ask why would I actually do this, right? So uh, I will make some changes to my code. I will clear this very quick because I know people in the back don't see the bottom here. Uh, so change means git checkout main. I will make again. So this is now recompiling. It's, uh, it's rest, so it takes more than two seconds. And I'm going to run this thing again. So now we get some different output. Uh, now it says, hello, all systems go. Uh, there you go. Awesome demo. So um, the thing is, what I'm doing here now is I'm executing code on this remote target, which is actually coming from my machine, right? So I have the binaries here. So what this allows for doing is, if you do, for example, embedded OS development, and you might need to work on drivers, so usually the experience is not too great, right? You would need to, I don't know, bake images, wait for like 10 hours until your Octo finally does something, or you get an error and you need to try again and stuff, right? So how about we just have a slightly smallish system like this one here, which is really just running the CPU daemon, which is what I'm going to come back to. And I just give it something. Let's say I want to do an ins mod, insert a kernel module. I will see if it works. If it doesn't, I do a RM mod again. I compile again and repeat the whole process within seconds instead of hours. So uh, that is my selling point here. If you want to know more about CPU, uh, this is the repository, uh, the bottom one. Uh, you can also read more about it. And I've also actually demoed the um, inserting drivers and stuff uh, before. If you look for a talk, it's called Drivers from Outer Space. You will find it. Thank you.